Hey everyone, Fraz here and welcome to my new playthrough and it's going to be on Warzone 2100 as I said I was going to do an old game and this is one from mostly my childhood came out on Playstation and the PC and you can actually get this for free now because the source code was released a while back it was by Pumpkin Game Studios who sadly had to shut up shop a while back, but it's one hell of an RTS game. I love it. There's deep customization, and I'm going to do this playthrough slightly differently. Each episode, you can ask questions about what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, whatever, and I'm going to give feedback. I'm also going to try and give hints and tips as I go along. I'm no professional with this game, but I'd like to believe that what I could say could maybe help you if you're going to play it and whatnot. But I'm also going to be Fraz, and what I do is have fun, and you enjoy watching. So, without further ado, it's time to watch the intro, and I'm going to shut up. The system was developed to protect us. It was to be the ultimate nuclear deterrent. As it turned out, it was our executioner. Reports said that NASDA developed a fault during a routine systems check. Don't believe it. Someone wanted it to take us out. Those nukes were targeted on every major city around the world. NASDA was programmed to start the collapse. When the counter-strikes launched, its laser defenses and anti-missile ground sites failed. The world as we knew it ended. The nuclear winter hit hard. Disease and famine claimed most of us would survive the nuclear strikes. Wars over cans of dog food took even more. We'd fled Seattle early in 86. We'd heard that the Rocky Mountains were relatively rad-free. After fighting off bands of marauders, we came across the base. Its personnel were dead. Killed by any one of a number of virulent diseases. We cracked the doors and cleared out the bodies inside. We knew that things would never be the same again. But we were determined to build a new world out of the ruins. We rebuilt the landing pads and brought the old systems back online. We were finally ready to begin the project. Let us go! Team Alpha, one of three expeditionary teams sent out by the project to recover artifacts from before the collapse. Your destination lies in the western zone. Commander, you are to establish a base in this sector. Once the base is established, begin your search for a pre-collapse structure located in this sector. This building is believed to contain advanced neural synapse technology that is vital to the success of the project. Power resource. Now, as you may have noticed, the world has gone to hell because of, I'm just going to say Skynet. It literally was just Skynet. Now, we are Team Alpha and we're getting to set up our little base. So, we better get started. 
Need your builders here, so I'm just gonna click this. And we shall head on over to get ourselves a little oil, Derek. And this shall give us income. Oh, we got a port. Bring it! Scavenger raiders are approaching our base. Defend the base, then destroy the scavenger camps. Though, as you may have guessed, not everybody's friendly. Charge the tanks! Now, you may be wondering what makes this unique from everything else, and why do I love it so much? Once we kill everything here. Is you all dead? Come here. Well, once we start getting units, you'll realize what the big difference is. And I'll show you more. Everything is really customizable in this. Once you, when you find ar ar all the artifacts, not all of them, but some of them, you get different bodies, you get different tracks, you get different guns, you get different weapons, you get advanced modules for upgrading your buildings and such. And it's just, it's really deep for type of RTS games that were around. Some, even some of the ones today. I'm sure it is. It's in my way. Now we just get very basic machine gun type. And we're just gonna go and kill them all. Can I shoot that? Can I, can I shoot that? Aha! Kill them all! Kill them! Wait, wait. I'm gonna retreat him. As you may notice, there's little, like, arrows, and you get your information up here, of, like, if you just click on him, you'll get what it actually says. Now, it comes to, if you do recycle these at points, at points, the next unit out will be that level, which is pretty handy, so it's good to try and keep your units alive. So I'll keep him at the back. Oh, hello there. Kill him. Kill the tower. Come on, kill the tower. Before he kills us. I'm gonna get rid of this. We're all fairly damaged. We need some repairing, that's for sure. Now, obviously, being a game that came out years ago, it's not great looking compared to today's ones, but... Actually, no, I don't want to capture that. All things considered, it still can stand up. Oh, that's burning. And one thing I would always say is, like, try and build all your oil decks, derricks, whatever you wish to choose, before collecting any artifacts and that, because it will likely move on the mission and... If you build the other Derek, it's easier that way. I will always give hints to why I'm doing stuff, why, uh, what it was, what's the cause and effect, because this has a whole... I don't know the actual term, damn it. But basically, as... Damn it, Builder! I'll pause the game before he decides to do anything else. As things go on, you need to have units and you'll go on missions, and then you can only send so many units away at a time and you've got to build a home while building away. You could almost say it's like civilization except you're not seeing your base and it's all real time. Now, that's probably going to move on this uh, game or not. What do you want us to do? Briefing commences. We've seen that though. Here's our mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so, hmm, you can tell me there's another base, let's go have a look, oh, hi, hi guys, kill them all, I could really use some health, can I build anything yet, of course I can, we're going to build some power. We're also going to build this. And in here, I'm not going to build anything because why the heck would I? You get down here. We shall build the factory.
I'm actually just going to sit here and defend a little bit because my units are wrecked. Maybe we could maybe go over no. I want to keep them definitely around here to defend this because I don't really want to go rebuilding that and it seems to be on the troops they're sending in at the moment. These are almost done. Power will turn your oil into usable resources down here and everything runs off power. Now we have power going up. And we also are able to see the map. Can I build anything yet? No. This is what I mean by... I'll, I'll just quickly run through this. You, you choose your body. Then your t tracks. Then whatever weapons. And you have systems and weapons. And you get another one later on. You just build that. And there you go. You already have a new unit. Tells you the amount of power to use it. How much health it has. The range, rate of fire, weight, etc. And you can create some hefty stuff in this. You can also experiment as such. And as always, I will tell you what I'm doing as things go on. Now, what I think I can do is I'm going to retreat these guys, build a few new tanks, bring them up here, so that these guys can keep their levels. I mean, they'll probably be okay, but he's at like 56% damage at speed, so I would like to keep these guys alive. Come on, mister. Construction completed. There. Give me that. Give me. Give me. Thank you. Put you there. Gonna bring them round. But what I'm gonna do while I'm at it. Possibly build research. Now where do I wanna put this? I think we'll put that there. We'll get another factory going while we're at it. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think. I was, I am pretty scared putting this first episode up because it is a good old game, but it's something I want to do. And with everything else that's out, there was nothing I really wanted to cover. And I don't want to put up stuff that I'm not going to enjoy because I know you guys enjoy watching it, only if I'm enjoying it as well. So I hope you do definitely enjoy this. And I'll put the link down below because you can get this for free. And we should have research. Yes, we shall add that to the research queue. These guys can sit there. And if you just want to talk away, like ask me any questions and... Wait, how that... Production completed. Did he get attacked? He must have got attacked. Construction completed. Hmm... Yeah, ask me questions, why am I doing such and such, I'll try and provide the best possible explanation and just help you guys out if you decide to get it as well. And that's five of them damaged, damn it. <laughs> Major research completed. Production completed. Well, as soon as we have a little squad of four, I'm just going to go say hi. Again. Come on. Production completed. Don't think it works like Supreme Commander at all. Sad face. Right. How many have we got? We've got four. Hmm. Can we meet you, command group? There we go. Ow. Production completed. Right. Let us go! Go, men! And the sound effects are just awesome for this. Oh dear, this is gonna be... Hmm... Add him. Get up here. Oh dear. The effects are pretty damn good. The texture is... Like, it's obviously not... 
today's type standard, but it's, it's proper good quality for what it was. And I love this game. I put so many hours into it, and now let's go kill. Come on. Come down. You bought another one, did you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have another scavenger base. But guess what? We have flamers. Hmm. I don't think we need another research facility yet. But I think a little more power could do us good. And also some more units would do nicely. You can also hit this and it will look the production queue that you create. Like if you want two of this, one of that, few of that, you can do that and it'll just continue to loop them until you just run out of money. Although you always kind of have money, just slowly, but try not to use it all. It's a good tip. <laughs> Don't use all your money, you need it. I'm going to bring this builder up here so we can get this oil up here next. Production completed. Production completed. I'm just going to get that so we can get... Now, let us see. We click this, and we have Flamer available. I'll get a few of them out to show you. We do that, then that, and a few of them out. Connected to four. Mm-hmm. <laughs> These guys are wrecked. Right, who do I want to send back? These two definitely can go back to here. You may be wondering, right, why the hell is he sending them back? You do eventually get a repair uh, turret sort of thing for the units. So... I mean, I do know something about this game. So please forgive me for doing that. Plus, it is very, very good to have. Oh dear, we're under attack! Oh dear, get out of there. Right. You, up here. Major research completed. Why, thank you for telling me, madam. Now, the... I think we have two flamers in here. Oh, yeah. Group one reporting. Hi, guys. Good, you're reporting. Right. Now, flamers, as you might imagine, have flames. Kill everything with fire. Now, of course, you're going to get heavier, more advanced weapons and whatnot, but you pick and choose the bodies. I tend to go with builders, like a light body or a fast body, just so they can get in and get stuff built quickly. But then you also have the disadvantage of they don't really have much defense uh, later on in the game. So just you have to watch what you're doing, really. But let us charge through here. To the main base, I hope. Go! Set him on fire! Ooh. Oh, what do we get this time? Ah, gun turrets. We'll be having that, thank you. Oh dear. Are you around here? 
Who else have we got? The rest should be fine. Let's go. Let's check down here for anything else. Well, hi, guy. Uh, did you just kill my unit? You did. You son of a... He's gonna get taken out as well. Oh, they have flamer towers. Oh, dear. Bombs, explosions, and stuff. That's it. Objective accomplished. Well, that's the first sort of missions over with. Folks, I hope you've really enjoyed this first episode. I have, and I love coming back to this game. Let me know what you think down below. Ask away anything, and I hope you'll continue to enjoy this as much as I will. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.